Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. We're in the third and final game on Niflheim. I keep messing around with audio. I got all this equipment to play with. And I hope it's uh, not too much issues. I'll keep on keep on changing it till I hit something that I like. So one big difference in this game is that horse, also known as banana, yellow black cart, is uh, not playing UEF. While Zox sticking to Cybern. Cybern has been pretty good for him. Except if we remember when he was Cybern against UEF on uh, that one green map. The map that uh, I can't remember the name for, but I'm sure you all remember. I don't have memory issues. Uh, where he did lose, then he had to switch to EF. So, interesting move by um, Blackheart switching from Aeon to uh, EF. Given we saw he played with the Harbies, he microed the heck out of the Harbies. And uh, he's always uh, been one of those players who, who tried to prove that uh, the Harby was actually a very powerful experimental. And what we saw here was, I mean, I don't think he, anybody could have used it better than him, although he kind of attacked AC a little too much for my taste. Um, and he did gamble. So it was uh, it was kind of an all-in with the Harby. And if it wasn't 100% uh, success early on, he was pretty much screwed. But uh, nevertheless, in a game that really counts, and this is as important as it gets where uh, the next player is going to take the lead and very interesting dynamic first four wins for Blackheart second four wins for Zoc uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, end up the next four wins are going to go to the same player I really want to see Rivers uh, the next map of course after Niflheim will be Point of Reach another water map uh, if you remember on a water map it was total domination by Blackheart let's see if Zoc can put up a fight Zog going third air. Second air from Blackheart. Oh wow. This build order for Zog has been working beautifully. And you can see he's, he's maximizing build capacity, assisting with an engineer. So many more units for him. The difference is that uh, there are a couple more expanding engineers. You can see the expansion much slower for Zog. That's because he was able to reclaim a whole bunch of rocks in this area. See early battles? See a dead unit? That looks like a Cybern unit. What is that? Is that a Mantis? I think that's a dead Mantis. Two engineers in the last time, and I think Zok has done the exact same build all three games. And uh, I guess he did win the last two games, so there's no reason to change anything. Uh, a lot of times players, when they in, in all ki kinds of games, they take a victory, and then they try to be tricky, and they change things up. And that's typically uh, when you get involved in those types of mind games. Changing a winning strategy is uh, always the... W you'll look much better if you can win by two different strategies, but if your goal is just winning and not looking better, uh, might as well stick to it. Here we got a transport for Zok. More Inties for Blackheart. And Zok says you running circles. Good work with that uh, striker. I'm really curious to see if uh, it'll be a big difference, Aeon versus EEF. And the thing about Blackheart, he is a classic EEF player. He definitely knows how to use the EEF as well as anyone. Zok, meanwhile, is rating a fairly massive drop. This is a big Mantis drop. It's wherever that goes, uh, they're going to feel it over there. And it looks like it'll be a multiple drop. It, I don't think there are any engineers in there. Perhaps a missed opportunity. And a uh, point defense is planned if that's completed, but that's that's going to be in a, in a quite a while, in about two minutes thirty seconds. I don't know if that's correct, but it should be close. This force needs to attack as soon as possible. It should take care of those manti quick, and that's going to be a kind of a disaster for Zok. Meanwhile, Zok continues his raid. He's he's really owned this ledge in the back of Blackheart's base for all. Uh, first two games let's see if he does it in the third looks like a successful drop but the manti are underneath a dead wreck now they're gonna come out and the manti for Zok are doing damage and looks like the hydro for Zok he's also been very good at picking up this hydro which has really helped him out uh, he's about to even up the power game although the hydro now four horses was a horse changing up a little bit he's much more aggressive uh, at the hydro very similar power very similar 
mass the ACU for. Oh, that's a denied point defense. Good move. Or maybe a little bit of luck there from Blackheart. And Nair fight, that's very important. Similar numbers. Looks like uh, Zog decides to pull back. But it's a victory by a fairly small margin for Blackheart. He will pursue and uh, try to kill off the remaining interceptors from Zog. As it appears that Zok was able to get a couple point defenses in this area, so it'll be a nice position. Zok pulling out from his favorite ledge. We should call this Zok's ledge from now on. Uh, meanwhile, Blackheart will regroup. He's got engineers. He will try to recapture Zok's ledge horse on a gun upgrade. And uh, yeah, you have ACU with the gun here in the middle. It's a straight shot at Zog's base, but you don't want to get caught in this area. Uh, especially against Cybern, who are so quick. You see in this uh, field, not much happening. It looks like Blackheart won't have any problems securing both of these choke points. And a point defense for Blackheart, uh, or for Zog. So you can see multiple fronts on this map. At least four here, plus the ledges. And in terms of map control, I really don't see a difference between these two players. It's as even as it can be. Yeah, this is the type of tourney. I'm really liking the way this tourney is turning out. I think this is the type of tourney we want to have in the future. Organizing and trying to get many people to play. As we see Blackheart with the gun. It's just a bit difficult. I think FAF is more of a uh, gladiator sport where we all have... Uh, players who we think are way better than everybody and only a few players dare to even challenge them and we might as well just have those players play for us <laughs> as we watch them. That's kind of what's happening here because there aren't many people in the audience I'm sure who would be willing to go with the best of 15 against either Zoc or Blackheart but if you are interested uh, definitely let me know we can probably set that up. Yeah I definitely love to see Zlo in one of these Zlo, Pachirico, Lucian definitely on that list. And people have ideas about how to choose the two players. Uh, post them in the comments. Incidentally, uh, I've already mentioned uh, Lucian is interested in casting some of these. He should definitely cast it. Because his analysis is going to be at least complementary to mine. Perhaps superior in many ways. He's going to talk about the scoots. I never talk about scoots because I don't know much about those. As a horse here with 26 kills. And this horse here is getting surrounded. Interesting. Horse has surrounded these units behind enemy lines. They might just break out though. They do have the RDK ability, so these point defenses won't stop them. They definitely don't want to go back through this direction because they'll just feed the horse. And looks like the ledges in this one have been uh, evenly divided between the two players. Blackheart pulling back and point defenses. The use of point defenses recently has been rampant among the best players, which I think is a relatively new phenomenon. It appears that the <laughs> the cybers behind enemy lines might try to do break out through the enemy ACU. And uh, yeah, their best thing is to cause as much problems as possible. And they do have a Engineer here as well is going to put up a point defense. I'll definitely slow Blackheart down as Zoc has a significant power advantage. 7,000 reclaim for Blackheart. Zoc, 9,000 and power stalling. What is he doing? He's getting the gun and he's got tech 2. He's, he's getting ready with a whole bunch of tech 2 gunships. So if there is a battle with uh, Blackheart's ACU, and he goes down to a low health, these gunships might just come in and finish him off. There is a lot of Tech 1 flak, but of course, there's actually also Tech 2 flak. Um, but all that Tech 1 flak is not really that significant. If it's not close to anything that's worthwhile defending, it's just all by itself here, defending a couple strikers. Up on this front, uh, it might be numbers for Zok. But Zok is kind of running in. Fairly similar numbers, will be a lot of reclaim for somebody. 
as Zock also breaks through on the top and there's nothing that's going to stop his assault as uh, yeah, these poor units behind enemy lines have been destroyed and where is yeah, here here's horse full health 33 kills with the gun and the gunships are on the way to kill horse and don't tell me that's going to be the end it shouldn't be because there is tech to flag here yeah there's tech to flag for blackheart that should be plenty this unit will force the gunships away it's just going to be a slight scare perhaps a bit of a waste we do see a couple gunships yep at least three perhaps four on the ground the gunships are going to go elsewhere as long as they stay away from the flag they can do damage at will maybe a courser or two would have been nice there if they could have sniped a single tech to flag i think it would have been over for blackheart but that did not happen to, as zok is just taking over i don't really like how uef looks uh, at this stage of the game looking at the base we're seeing uh, basically just take two pillar spam I don't see much tech to land at all for Zok. I just see a lot of tech to gunships. Tech to gunships on a map that's just spread out are very potent. See they're going after tech to mask extractors, killing off the ledge. Actually a couple of gunships here getting caught in enemy's air force. More gunships, TMDs. Will be good targets if there is a cruise missile launcher somewhere. But I don't see it. Blackheart eating some trees. PD is going to take out. So this ledge here is ripe for a drop. But most of all, here it is. Tech 3 lands coming up for Zok. Whose assaults uh, looked quite dangerous. But suddenly, they've all kind of had to either retreat or are dead. And uh, Blackheart finds himself in a fairly good position. He is a bit low on power, but... He is a bit behind on mass as well, but there is a reclaim now available. Still a few gunships here and there, but those should die, and uh, the reclaim should uh, be in Blackheart's favor here soon. 13,000 reclaim. Zok sitting on the exact same number. Zok making so much. Uh, well, I guess now he's making tech 3 land. He's making bricks, and bricks are going to be very slow, but those are going to be necessary to stop this massive tech 2 land force from Blackheart. Which, uh, unless a few bricks are dispatched to that position, I think everything here will be ran over. I would love to see Blackheart make a couple of transports, put a couple of pillars and bricks on the top ledge, take everything over. And uh, so far, I'm just mostly seeing Manti. The Tech 3 stage has been completely s uh, skipped by Zok, who's making both bricks and loyalists, and looks like he's rating a drop. What? Dr uh, that's going to be a brick drop. And you can see, yeah, he's going to reinforce the top position. That's going to save him quite a bit of map control. As we're seeing more probing runs. Manti versus Pillars. These Pillars shouldn't have... Uh, actually, with these numbers, it'll be a fairly even fight. Although, yeah, the Pillars should have enough. And in the middle, it's mostly Tech 1 with a couple Pillars. A drop coming in, and is that going to be successful? Yep, a loyalist has been dropped off on the ledge. Is there a point defense? If there's no point defense, everything here will be dead. Up top, we see the break on the front line. Yeah, frustration from Blackheart. A couple loyalists in the middle. Who are the Perseys? <coughs> the Perseys are being produced. There's also some tech to power. Oh, well, what was that noise? I guess... A false alarm. Um, my horse getting some upgrades. Minus 100. What kind of upgrade is this? Could this possibly be the shield? It appears to be a tech 2. Yeah, it's tech 2. It's a neg usually negative 200 for the ACU. And what is that? That's a Percy drop to the front line. And as soon as it's dropped off, it takes a shot at the brick. It knows exactly what targeting priorities are. That brick's going to die. Excellent move from Blackheart. Blackheart, Tech 2, and the gun moving out through the front lines. 
A uh, couple of fire beetles could make uh, his day very dangerous. There are a couple of Tech 3 units here standing by. They need to either push in or they need to run away. As you can see, Zok probing with engineers. He's grabbing a bit of reclaim. And here it's going to be a major counterattack. That brick that was dropped off by Zok was killed by the Percy. Single kill to its name. One very big kill. We do see Tech 2 engineer trying to establish a T2PD with some shields. As uh, Blackguard has now evened up the power, was actually ahead for a little bit. Still a slight advantage on mass for Zok. Take three units pulling back, respecting Blackguard's ACU. Blackheart is going to have a purse here too in support, plus a bunch of Tech 2 flak. He's going to be chasing bricks here. Typically, bricks fall on you, but Blackheart is going to chase the bricks. And bricks might seem slow, but one of the slowest units in the game is the ACU. And yeah, these bricks are afraid. <laughs> oh man. Some ACUs are more feared than others, I guess you can put it that way. And uh tech two flag from a tech three factory, that's a travesty. Don't do that. Yeah, this loyalist did all kinds of damage, fourteen kills, point defense is put up. And it looks like a couple loyalists have snuck through, they're gonna do damage on Zox ledge. Bricks are going to take on a whole bunch of Tech 1, Tech 2 flak. The ACU has been avoided, sitting on 39 kills up top. The 3 kill Percy. And the Brick Murder, I think it's taking a little too long. This uh, engineer is able to get a shield, multiple uh, bricks, and actually support uh, Tech 3 Factory. As we're also seeing gun trips for Zox. So in this game, everything is very even. And we can't forget that, oh, this is good, uh, good reclaim. I must have missed, that must have been a good battle. Sorry, but we didn't see the result. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice 2,000 mass right there. The ACU for Blackheart does have the Tech 2 engineering switch, which means you can establish a base here, some Tech 2 shields, T2 PDs, Percy's versus Bricks. And we've seen what happens when Percy's and Bricks meet. Here's actually four versus three. The Bricks die, that's pretty much the rule. As Loyalists continue to do damage all over Blackheart's base, who's behind by about 20 mass, actually even more mass now. Some shields and Zok with the gun, very low health. You see 18,000 health and another overcharge. Zonk with the gun. Does he have stealth? That's the question. He does not have stealth. This ACU is playing with fire. Because at 10,000 health, that means that you get this many Percy's. There's five Percy's. <laughs> you can see how quickly his health drops. 16,000 damage per shot. Yeah. That's how dangerous that is. <laughs> you, don't <laughs> you don't mess with the Percy. Unless you got a badass ACU like the EEF. Yep, the Cyber and Paper ACU. Zok drops behind Blackheart five games to four games. Yeah, the next few games are going to be very exciting. We're getting close to the end of this journey.